It is still important for us to make sure that the surfaces that we work on daily are sterile and our chance of carrying a viral infection go down. Well, one of the commonest ones to use is soap and water. So if you have anything on which soap and water can be used, please soap up and wash that particular thing. Wash it with water, keep it in the sun to dry and it is absolutely safe for you to use. The other substances and chemicals that we use, the one we most commonly use is sodium hypochlorite. Sodium hypochlorite is simple household bleach. It is usually commercially available in 5% or 10% packaging. The concentration for you to use is 1%. So if you bought a 10% sodium hypochlorite solution, you have to dilute 1 in 10 to bring a 1% solution. This is then put inside a spray bottle. This is sprayed onto surfaces, kept on the surface for about 1 to 2 minutes and then wiped out with a damp cloth. This can be used for most surfaces except for you to understand that it is a little corrosive substance and may cause corrosion on metallic surfaces, especially if kept in contact for a long time. Under these circumstances, we go to the next surface disinfectant, which is hydrogen peroxide. It is commercially bought and used in the concentration in which it comes to you. This can also be kept inside sprays, sprayed on surfaces, kept on contact for about a minute or two, and then wiped down with a cloth. It is not corrosive, so it can be used on metallic surfaces also. The next thing we can use is alcohol. Alcohol is readily available to us in our hand sanitizers and it has to contain a minimum of 70% of alcohol. We can wet a piece of cloth or gauze piece with alcohol and rub it on commonly used surfaces like knobs, door handles, uh, rods as in bathrooms and this disinfects the area perfectly. With over 1 lakh medical experts and the facility to teleconsult, experience clinic-like consultations on practice.